Good morning friends and welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here then hi my name is Carrington big huge special welcome to you I hope you will consider hitting that subscribe button clicking the little bell so you're notified of all my future uploads as well if this is your 10th time 100th time 50th time second time here and you still have not yet hit that subscribe button I absolutely invite you to do so and let's go ahead and let's get into a very interesting video all right, I have an interesting video, and what I mean by interesting is I'm trying out the KKW Beauty, what is this, camo palette. Now, <clears throat> I personally have never really purchased much of anything from KKW Beauty. I think I got some like lip products a while ago because I had heard somebody rave about them. But like in terms of like palettes or highlighters or anything like that, I did not purchase. But I saw this palette. And I knew I had to have it. Now, here's the thing. The thing is, is that I don't know. I think she's like rebranding. I don't know if she has like completely and totally rebranded yet or what the hell's going on. Um, but I literally got this. Like, so I got on the website like the last day before her whole brand was like going to be rebranded. They're going to shut down. And things were like 75, 80% off. And I got this for like markedly cheap. I think like regular price, this is like $48. And I literally got it for like $10, $11. Like it was like, it was cheap. It was cheap. But I have heard really mixed reviews on KKW's products. I personally have never tried them myself, but I have heard some very mixed reviews. So I got this palette and I so badly wanted to try this out, but you know, new makeup, there's so much stuff like coming on the market. And so with this being a whole month of like just trying out eyeshadow palettes, I thought there's probably going to be like no better time than now to use this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get into today's look. I am so, so excited to be using this palette. Uh -huh. I don't know what direction I want to go because you could do like a really nice neutral you could do like a green I'm like that's like I'm just like what do I want to do so first I'm going to go into the shade right here called oh man hideout I think I hate it when it's on the back because sometimes it just doesn't make sense all right so go ahead oh that is nice and pigmented does have some fallout in the pan I'm not really like against you know kick up fallout whatever you want to call it in the pan as long as it's not like going all over like ridiculously all over my face like sometimes you're gonna have fallout on your face and I'm like that's all right but like if it's like ridiculously then I'm like mm, no but this seems to be doing quite nice I would say Next shade I'm going to go into is this one right here. I think this one is called Vintage Khaki. I mean, it kind of like makes sense, but. Oh, okay. That one's quite a bit of kick up, but quite a bit. And let's just bring that like lower into the crease. Just to add some depth. I don't know why I say like lower in the crease when like realistically I have to bring everything way up above my crease so but I guess for me like at this point with like such hooded eyes I'm just like I don't you know I don't ever use my crease so up above is my crease all right so for the outer corner I'm gonna go into the shade right here which I think is called fatigue it's like that dark green and if I feel like it's not dark enough, I can maybe like dip a little bit into the brown, but let's like just, I don't, hmm, definitely just not like, but hmm. I'm trying to decide, like here's me, like I don't really notice, I think that it has enough depth and dimension for me to like it, just, okay, let's tap a little bit of the shade Mud. Just like that deep brown in there and see if this kind of gives me the, yeah, the depth and the dimension that I want. This is perfect. 
Okay, I got a little bit carried away over here, but that's fine. I usually always like clean up my eyes. So now I'm gonna go glitter prime my eyelids so then we can like jump into some shimmers. Okay, so now it's time for some shimmers. I wanna go into the first shade right here called Camo. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Camo. And put this kind of towards like my center slash outer portion of my lid. Yeah. There we go. I feel like this is one you kind of have to like build up a little bit and swipe. So then for like the inner portion, I'm going to go into the shade right here. It's called Mossy Oak. It's kind of like a, like a duo shift. Like, it, you know, so let's see. Oh yeah, I think that's going to be fantastic. So these are what the eyes are looking like so far. I'm not going to lie. I really do like this palette. There were some like, you know, I had a little bit of issues like really finding some like depth and dimension from like my outer corner. And I've literally went to like the two darkest shades in the palette and like, you know, I'm still, it's just, I don't know, not giving me quite the depth and dimension that I wanted. I don't know. Okay. So now I'm going to go do the rest of my face off of camera. I will come back um, so I can kind of go over my final thoughts. All right. So welcome back. Here is the final look. What do you guys think? I, uh, I feel like it took a little bit to get here. You guys didn't see like the rest of the recording, but I tried using, um, in the shop, my stashes, this is the first time I've tried using this. This is the, um, super shock shadow or super shock blush or whatever. Tell me the best way to use this because I went in with like a, a brush, right? And it was like instantly like, oh no, I made a mistake. So I had to go over everything with a sponge. Um, so then I like on one cheek, so then I tried going in with a sponge on the other cheek and it was like, same thing. It was like, it was like hard for it to like blend out or it was like, I don't know, hard for it. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know like your best way to get this to like adhere to the face and like blend out and not look like, Oh no, I've made a mistake because that's, that's ultimately what happened. I had to go over it with my sponge on like the foundation side to like smooth it down a bit. All right, so let's go over my final thoughts. So overall, I really do like this palette. I think they did a pretty good job on it. There is quite a bit of kick up in the pan for the mattes. Now, the one thing I thought was really disappointing is that these like lighter shades did fantastic. Like I literally only had to go in once, dunk once a couple of times, and it provided great pigmentation. With these two darker shades, I felt like I was having to keep continuously like building it up. And even then, I wasn't overly impressed with the payoff of it. Like it just wasn't, like the payoff wasn't that great. In terms of the shimmers, I think the shimmers look really, really beautiful. On the eyes like they're just it they're gorgeous on the eyes one thing to be mindful of though is I did have a lot of glitter herpes all over my face it just it is what it is it's like once you have glitter on your face it takes forever to go away no matter how much you wash it use tape whatever it was like literally like glitter herpes and it's literally like all over my face it's still I can literally look in this and like my under eyes are like loaded with glitter like just, I can just see the glitter particles and I even tried wiping it away using like a um, baby wipe before I went in with the rest of my makeup and I still have tons of glitter underneath the eyes. I don't know if you guys can like see, yeah, like you see like the little dots of glitter that just like show up. I'm not a huge fan of that. I will say, I don't necessarily know I would have enjoyed this for like $48. Um, but I feel like I got this for like, I don't know, 10 dollars 11 25 something like that like super cheap uh, like that was worth it to me like having like this many shades a really nice mirror um you know I do love the shimmers on the eyes I wish it wasn't all over my face but I do love it on the eyes the lighter the lighter mattes being like super pigmented 
it's just those little things that I don't think would be worth $48, but I am glad that I got it at like partial price. I don't know how the quality of the rest of her palettes, if they're like this quality, if they aren't. I do have other palettes of hers to try out. So I'm sure eventually I will get around to those palettes as well. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you have not already. Click the little bell if you have not yet already as well. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.